Just finish eating your grilled cheese and then ask her on a date, Jesse. You can do this. No, no, he's too scared. He's too scared. He walked away. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, oh yes, today, we are playing The Sims 4. And this is episode three, and welcome to my house. A lot of things have changed since I made episode two. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit, but let's have a look what Jordy is doing. Hello, Jordy. He's gonna go on his computer. What are you looking for, Jordy? Uh-oh, boys, he's on a dating site. Oh, okay, he clicked it away, and now he's thinking about money. So in the last episode, I told you guys I wanted to make a second floor. And right here, there's a nice little staircase and that means that my sims could walk upstairs but there wasn't an upstairs so i took my hard worked time and i built a second floor ladies and gentlemen just take a look at this here is terrace number one here is terrace number two i still don't know how to pronounce that word here's a nice little fireplace and here's a nice little balcony which i can show you oh look at that that is really sexy oh my god and yeah the only thing i finished so far upstairs is a little bathroom where uh, we can uh oh look into the mirror where that is not placed in the right place i should probably put this one above the sink like that there you go. So on the second floor, I want to build a gym and a hobby room. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this big room over here, this is going to be the hobby room for The Sims. Because The Sims that I have currently, Quabblecob, Slogoman, and Jelly, are very creative people, excluding myself. Just kidding. I'm, I'm probably very creative. I don't even know. I can't bribe about myself, guys. That, that's not what I do. Over here, I'm going to have a little bar. I'm probably going to put the piano upstairs. I'm going to have a gu guitar here. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be the fun room that everybody wants in the house. House, but that nobody really has because there's usually no space for it and this right here the small room is gonna be the gym with a really nice little view and oh my god there's a gap here i probably should fix that <laughs> people can fall down you don't want that and these places here are so beautiful i wanted to make them because there's such a nice view here just look at that you can sit here drink a little coffee and have a look at that view it's it's amazing and that's not the only thing i built guys i also finally put a roof on my house my girlfriend in real life was actually complaining she watched the second episode and she was like, where the fuck is your roof, Jelly? So I build a roof and I think it looks really, really good. They're all small little parts and I put them here just nice and fancy. Now I built the house a little bit weird. The second floor is built one block back than the ground floor. So that means that I can put stuff here such as plants or plant pots or, or, or whatever. I could technically let my sims walk here, but I don't really want that. I think it looks really good though this way. And I'm really, really happy what the house is looking like right Right now i should add a garage very soon maybe on this side or on this side because just look at my land i got so much space i don't think i want to build a super big house this is big enough but i could possibly put a pool here and make a really nice garden i don't know if this will look good but i'm gonna put some plants on here that kind of looks weird in a way so i might just delete the plants and just leave it how it is right now yeah this is probably better if you have any ideas what i could put on there just let me know this looks pretty cool though yeah i think i'll just leave those big plants there and that should be it let's have a look what my sims are up to as you guys remember in the previous episode my sims got hired for a job quibble cop is a secret agent josh is an entertainer oh god wait 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 there's an incoming phone call for the boss of jordy my boss is calling should i pick it up okay yeah that you should probably pick that up and if you guys remember jelly yes me i am a criminal I don't exactly know why I did that, but I thought, you know, maybe it will be fun, and, uh, yeah, it's definitely fun to be a criminal. So it's quite weird because Jordy, we all have our own bedrooms, but Jordy has to get up early and go to work, Josh leaves, leaves a couple of hours later, and Jelly actually leaves, like, in the afternoon. So that's pretty cool. And he just woke up. Hello, that Jelly. You still wearing your pajamas? Put some normal clothes on, Jelly. So Jelly, Jordy, and Josh are making some friends. And look at this. I don't know who this is. What's his name? Hello? What? What? Look how he dances. Whee! Yeah, that's how people dance in The Sims. Oh, and somebody just went into the shower. Oh, that's Benoit. Benoit. A Vogacillo. Inca The whole point of this episode is to make some more friends. And just have a good time with my Sims. Look at Jelly's move. Did you guys see that? Oh, God, that was smooth. I think we should have another social event. But we should fill up this hobby room over here with a lot of fun stuff. So that Jelly and Josh can have a great party in this house and Jordy of course we are going to host a house party oh yes and let's invite some sims the host is gonna be jelly some guests are gonna be oh look at that we have a lot more people now Slogoman, Quibblecab, Dina, Osvaldo, Janie and Don that's smooth no wait 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 Josh should not be the guest Josh is gonna be 
the entertainer. Can I do that? Hire this role, one. Okay, I, I, I got a stranger as an entertainer. I, Josh is a guest, I hope. Yeah, Josh is a guest. And Elisa Pancakes is gonna make the pancakes, so she's gonna be the cook. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do this party at my house. And I don't exactly know when that party's gonna be, but I hope, I hope tomorrow. Oh, right now? Oh! Oh, a lot of people are in the house! Well, that's smooth. Everybody's cooking, sharing some cake, having a good time. Look at this guy. Oh, God. Oh, look at that girl. Oh, she's enjoying that guy. <laughs> and here we have the entertainer. I just randomly hired a guy and he's playing some piano. How awesome would it be if I could teach my sims to play a piano like that? Yes, that's what I want to do. And he's dancing to the piano music. <laughs> he really is enjoying it. I think we should start building the interior of the hobby room. Let's start with a nice little bar that is actually not so little. It's pretty big. That's what she said. I think the bar on this spot is amazing. You can sit down here and you can just walk in, get a drink and go back. But you can also sit here with a lot of people and get a drink too. Fantastic. All right, guys, the hobby room looks a bit more finished right now. I put the piano upstairs. I have a little fireplace. I already had that fireplace. You can play chess here, which looks pretty cool. I put a stereo box, another one upstairs and a nice little bar. I'm not exactly sure what I should put in the middle here. I want to have like a gaming area where they can play games or pool table. We need a pool table. But I guess the people will go upstairs in the next party. Right now, they're enjoying themselves downstairs. So you know what? You know, I'll just leave him here. <laughs> it looks like the guy with the guy who we invited to play pla piano actually went upstairs and he's playing piano here right now. His name is Dalton Linder, but no one's upstairs. Oh, wait. Oh, Josh. Josh is on his way! Josh! Josh! Yay! He's coming to dance to the piano songs! That's so nice of Joshy. Oh, yeah! Oh, man! And Jelly and Dirty are actually asleep! Such nice friends! Jelly hosts the party and he's too tired to stay awake. What a nice guy. Oh, look! More people are coming upstairs! Someone's playing chess on his own, of course! And what's this? Uh, I got a little screen pop up, but I can't click any buttons. I think Jelly has to go to his work. I clicked the first button. Jelly, get up and go to work, Jelly. Jelly, you're up. How are you walking? Holy shit. Go to work, please. I swear to God, I'd walk like that in real life. <laughs> I'd kind of be embarrassed. Okay, he's off to work. Good job. So much more fun upstairs here. What are they doing? She's reading a book and listening to the piano songs. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mister, what's his name? Osvaldo is working out. Oh, and this guy too. I should probably start working the gym, but before that, I kind of have to fix the hole in the floor because, well, I don't want I don't want people to work out and then fall down the hole. You know, that's that's kind of weird. House party unsuccessful. Everybody had a great time. Even the piano guy had a good time. Look, he's waving. Well, I guess nobody really enjoyed that. Then I think I know what's wrong. In the last episode, I told you guys I would create Santa if we would hit thirty thousand likes. Now, we did not hit 30,000 likes, but I do really want to make Santa in this episode. So, you know what? Screw it! I'm gonna add Santa. But first, we have to create her. But I talked to Santa, and uh, of course, she's gonna get a bit angry about the way how I create her. Because she's not gonna act like she's gonna act like in real life. Holy shit, that was a weird sentence. I mean, of course, Josh is standing here behind a bar, but I don't think Josh is doing that in real life. So please, Santa, if you're watching this, keep in mind, this is a game. And it's all for fun. And again, it's YouTube Villa. Santa has a YouTube channel, so she perfectly fits. And also, should I put Santa in this house or should I put Santa in her own house? Because if she has her own house, then I'm probably gonna have to buy a house for her. Of course, she has her own money, but you get what I mean. I think for now, to make it easier, I'm gonna put her in this house. But let's stop, let's stop the chit chat and actually start creating her. How do we do that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's start creating Santa. Now, first of all, uh, this totally does not look like Santa. We need blonde hair. This, this, this looks blonde in a way. Still does not look like Santa. I'll put a picture up on the screen and then I'll try to create her off that. And please, Santa, <laughs> if you don't know who Santa is, she's my girlfriend in real life. If you're watching this, I, I, I'm not taking this very seriously. I, please, okay? This picture, this picture is the one I'm gonna base it off. Just because it's the first one I can find. Nose is actually pretty accurate. Oh, no, it's not. No, she doesn't have a pointy nose at all. Oh, no, the nose also does not go like that. Oh, no, the nose also does not go like that. It should be a bit different. Yeah, maybe this is a little bit more accurate. I, I, I think, I think, 
yeah, yeah, this should be fine. I, I, I honestly don't even know anymore. All right, so Santa's eyes are a little bit strange. Holy shit, I'm so rude. She has one light blue eye and she has one a bit like gray eye or green. But, um, you know, I'm just gonna make him blue. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him blue, I think, because I, I don't think you can make different eye colors. <laughs> so as you can see in the picture, Santa has darker eyebrows than her actual hair, so I guess that's gonna be that. She does not look like Santa yet. How how do I do that? Yeah, that that those eyes are a little bit better, I guess. But now she has makeup on, too. But her eyes are definitely not that bright. But they're not that dark, either. They're definitely not black. Yeah, maybe this is a little bit more accurate. I... I don't know, I think so. So Santa is definitely not fat like this. Oh God, no, that's definitely not Santa. That is act Santa's actually a bit on the skinny side, I'd say. A bit more skinny than me, of course. So uh, boobs and butt, yes. Yours are gonna be maximum, great. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really funny though <laughs> So Santa only wears white and black so we're definitely not gonna give her this top We're literally gonna give her a white one and a black one and what why why are her legs so dark and shoes should probably be all-stars Is there some fake replica of all-stars here somewhere this one? No, 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 that's ugly all right, so it doesn't really look like her, but I, I guess, I mean, she's really pretty, so I, I guess I'll just leave it like this. Hello, my name is Shanna. Oh, wait, I should probably put capitals off. There we go, and uh, let's see. Aspiration, she is gonna be love. Is she gonna be a soulmate, or is she gonna be a serial romantic? This sim wants to play the field and go on dates with all sorts of interesting people. No, 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 we don't want her to cheat on me. Food. Yeah, she can cook for me. Yeah, I think I think she'd definitely be down for that. This sim wants to master the, the arts of cooking. Send out your cook from now on. Treats. Treats. However you freaking pronounce that word. What does she like to do or how is she? I'd say Santa's creative. She's a genius. Nah, <laughs> just kidding, Santa. You're not a genius. She is definitely a foodie. She loves food. Oh, Jesus. Watch out there. Don't, don't do that. I did it myself too. And yeah, I'd, I'd say this is the last, this is the good one. Outgoing. Oh yes, that's what she does all the time. So, all right, we got, we got her, we made her. Welcome to the family. Not genetically wise though, because that would be incest. I hope actually that it's not an actual family. I just hope it's a house of people and that people in that house can also become friends or get into relationships because it will be weird if they're actually genetically connected with each other. And I have a bottle here, yes. You saw that right. Now, of course, we have a little problem here, guys. We only have three bedrooms, and we don't really have room to expand. I mean, technically, we could build a bedroom. I'm hit a bad a bedroom up here, but really, do we want to do that? Because we all know that Santa loves me, and she's just gonna sleep in my bed. So we're just gonna go all in straight away, jelly, sir. You're gonna sleep with Santa every single night. That's what's gonna happen here. Straight to the point. Santa in real life, if you're watching this, if you do not like that, then I don't care. It's not you who controls this game. Straight to the point. For some reason, it's t it's almost 3 a.m. And my piano player, the house party ended like fucking five hours ago. But for some reason, this guy, he, he thinks it's a good idea to just stay in my house for a little bit longer. So guess what, Josh? You're just gonna tell him to leave. All right, yell at. Oh, Bob, no! Yell at him, Josh. Yell at him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, now they're not good friends anymore. Boo -da -boo -da -boo. So, of course, we added this lady to the family, and she... Oh, she looks really sad. Santa, what's going on? Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad in this family? She doesn't have a job. She doesn't really have anything to do yet. So, we should probably get her and Jelly to just hook up. Hey, wait. Santa, go talk to Jelly. Go, no, go. Don't go play about problems. No, discuss interests. You're gonna be good friend to Jelly. You're not gonna be just good friend to Jelly. You're gonna be a wife and husband later on in the game, I hope. What? If these two actually don't get along what if for example she fights with everybody in the house and they don't get along and they can't move in together and, or, or, or jelly or santa cheats in the game that'd be fucked up but that'd be really really funny though i, I really want to experience that i actually don't what no i don't want to experience that i i want it to be all a happy family yay santa jelly you should go all in there you should you should ask about the day yeah that's how you start 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 with the good lines jelly don't go all in yet okay oh jelly jelly's really tired and jelly smells oh no wait jelly jelly you smell you know you don't do a first impression of smelling that that's like death that's instant death right there and Santa, you should probably go sleep in that bed too you know what just go all in that 
just go all in it. Is it gonna work though? Because usually in The Sims, they don't want to sleep together the first night yet. You really have to get to know each other first, but I'm still gonna try it. Santa is sleeping in my bed. Let's see if Jelly can join. Jelly? Jelly is finishing his bath. Jelly, where's the hang on? Not again, Jelly! No, no! Here we go, here we go. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Jelly, Jelly, go sleep. You can't, you can't walk there? Go sleep, Jelly, go sleep. Go sleep, Jelly. Yes, is he gonna do it? What's wrong? What's wrong? No, you don't want to sleep in, you, you don't want to sleep in the bed with Santa? Come on, everybody wants to do that. Wait, no, 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 not everybody wants to do that. No, no. But, Jelly, you want to. Just go take a nap then. Go sit down, go sit down. Aw, oh, Jelly. Poor, poor little Jelly. Usually Santa's the one who sleeps in those kind of things, but, but... And I guess in the game, it's Jelly who's do who's doing that. Apparently, Jordy woke up, and he is eating himself. Just kidding, he's not eating himself to death. But he really has to pee, so... Hey, use that toilet, man. He's talking to himself again. Oh, wait, what? Where are you going? I was listening to your conversation, dude. Jesus Christ. All right, Santa woke up. Let's see what she's gonna do today. What are you wearing, Santa? Really? Freaking rabbits on your feet? Such a crazy girl. Santa wants to buy an instrument. Well, guess what? We got a lot of instruments in this house. We got guitars, we got pianos... You really don't want to buy an instrument. You want to be friendly with Quabble Cop. No, you don't. You want to be friendly with Jelly. You should, you should tell Jelly to go to sleep in his own bed now. Jelly decided to sleep in Jordy's bed because I guess, I guess there was no space. You know, it wasn't really comfortable to sleep in that thing. So, uh, Jelly, wake up. Go sleep in your own bed. Oh, Santa made a lot of food. Oh no, wait, no, she's, she's doing dishes. That's my girl. That's my lady right there. Holy shit, what has, what, what's happening here? I didn't know that. <laughs> I should probably repair, re re yeah, replace or repair. Probably repair it. I mean, replace it. What? All right, Jelly, you should probably get up now and go, uh, go, go make food with Santa. Go make food with Santa. Is she interested? Is she interested? She's interested! Casual discussion! Casual discussion! It's going great! They're talking about music! They're talking about drawers! The drawer you slept on last night! Oh wait, it's not a drawer, it's something else. Oh look, they're hugging! They're hugging! Yay! They enjoy it! They are enjoying life right now! Alright, Santa needs to pee, so go pee! Stop talking to Jelly! You go make some food for yourself! Go make food! Go make grilled cheese! Yes, grilled, grilled cheese family size! Yes! Yes! There you go! Look how cute they are together! Both making food! Oh, coat! Santa, you're supposed to be a cook! Take it easy! Oh, look at Jelly! Jelly has some more skills on this one! <laughs> and Santa's looking at his cooking skills! Oh, this is the first time I see people sitting outside! Look at these people! Oh, Santa! Santa's leading, eating lonely inside! Santa, wait, I should buy a new chair! Y you can, you can also come and sit here! There you go! A new chair is available, Santa! Go sit there! Go, go eat! Go sit, sit together. Yes. There you go. And now she's eating the grilled cheese with their family. I mean, grilled cheese. Jesus. What are they talking about? Yeah, I agree. Talking about bears and family-sized grilled cheese meals. Santa, you should brighten Jelly's day. You should probably do that. Santa, you should be a little bit romantic to Jelly now. Ask him if he is single. And then, Jelly, you should go and say st stuff to Santa that are really creepy. No, wait, you shouldn't do that. That's not good. You should also do romantic stuff. You should confess. Oh, you should, no, no, no. You should not confess attraction yet. You should flirt. Oh, God. We got third wheelers and fourth wheelers here in a bitch. Guys, leave. Slogan man. Slogan man really wants to sit down with this food. But guess what? It's, there's, there's no, there's no place. I, I did not, I do not have that chair, Josh. There's no, there's no place. Oh, look. Jelly's flirting. Jelly. Jelly's flirting. Okay, Jelly. Here's the thing. Ask Santa. On a date. Here you go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Just finish eating your grilled cheese and then ask her on a date, Jelly. You can do this. No. No. He's too scared. He's too scared. He walked away. And he waddled away. Mada mada. Until the very next date. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, we're gonna try it again tomorrow. We should really try to push that relationship, guys. How fun would that be? Santa and Jelly are dancing. Oh no, Santa doesn't like it. You're gonna chat with Jordy? Well, that's the thing here. You guys are. You guys are okay. No, that doesn't go well together. That's not cute at all. No, I do not like that. Oh, they're hugging? No. You know what, guys? We should make it a little bit more interesting. Quabble Cop feels a little bit flirty, so, um... Wait, what are, you, what are they gonna do? Jordy just asked her to dance with him? Jordy just asked her to dance with him? Jelly, you should not allow this. You should dance with Quabble Cop, too. Be the awkward third, third wheel, Jelly. Oh, Jelly, look at those moves. Holy shit, look at that. Josh is also coming in. They're all dancing to this song. We're having a great time. 
Yes, doing that dance again. Oh, yes, great times. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna leave it here. The J family, including Santa, are all having a great time. I think Jelly right now is sleeping. I'm not sure where he's sleeping, though. Jelly, where are you sleeping? Jelly, really? You have your own freaking bed here, man. Go sleep in that shit. I'm really excited to see how far we can push the relationship between Jelly and Santa. And I'm really excited to see if Jordy is gonna come in between. Because look at him staring through the bushes. And he's thinking about Santa, too. I didn't really like that. Should be fun to get more girls in this crib. And hopefully the next episode, we're gonna find a lot of friends. We're gonna host some more parties. And we're just, just gonna have a great time. And Jelly's gonna do some criminal stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this Sims 4 episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you click on that like button. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> And also, I did not wear a jelly shirt today because I bought a new sweater and I'm really happy with it. It's a black one. I like black sweaters. They're really nice. Bye. <laughs>